I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a sweetheart tree. And these are overlapping hearts. We're going to start over here. One finger towards the left and put a dot. And from that dot we're going to draw a curve line out. In. Leave it floating. Come back to the dot. Curve line out. In. Connect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to build the top part of our tree. So I put a dot again and I'm going to draw a curve line out, down, and it crashes into that heart. That's okay. Because I go back to the dot and I draw a curve line down, up, connect. Put another dot. We're going to draw a curve line out, in, leave it floating. Come back to the dot, curve line out, in, connect. Now we're going to go up high, put a dot, curve line out, bam, it crashes into that one, that's okay because we're doing overlaps. Curve line out, down, connect. Now we're going to put, let's put a dot right here and we draw a curve line up, down, leave it floating, come back to the dot, curve line out, in, connect. Now we're going to fit the next row of hearts and they can be kind of squirrely looking, it's okay because they're going to crash into everything. So I put a dot and I'm going to draw a curve line, bam, it crashes into that, jump over a little bit, curve line down, leave it floating, come back to the dot, curve line up, bam, it crashes into that, curve line down, connect, put another dot. Curve line up, down, leave it floating, curve line out, in, up, connect. Come over here, let's put a dot, we're going to fill out the tree, put a curve line, bam, it crashes into that one, come back to the dot, curve line down, up, connect, and I think we can fit one more here, put a dot, Curve line down, leave it floating, curve line up, crashes into that one, bring it down this way, connect, and I think that's all. Okay, now, starting over here on the left, I draw a slightly curved line down on the left, come up to your tree point, let's do this slightly curved line down, and leave it floating. Now we come in and we draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Now in my background I'm going to put little black dots. And I'm going to do the background right now. Come in and put it inside your tree or inside that space. Fill it up. Don't go crazy, but you want to fill it up so that people can see the dots. Don't forget the inside. Keep going. All the way down. Over. And up. Alright, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, to do this, I'm just using red to color in all of these spaces red red keep going now just because I am doing red I'm doing a traditional heart does not mean you need to do traditional color some of you might want to do different colors some of you might want to do purple purple is always a very positive color people like using for this kind of sweetheart tree but I'm just using red and I would even kind of make these a little bit darker and this is when it's good to use your big fat crayons 
and they color cover, cover a lot more space you can get that darker color without killing your hand so these are all now the other thing is some of you might have added more hearts to make your treetop and that is fine some of you might have less and that is fine too now once I've got these all done I'm going to take my pink and first I'm going to draw lines going down to that bottom curve and once I've got those lines done then I go over it to fill in the space with a loop-de-loop -loop, just to give it a little bit more of a light pink look okay all right let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here is my sweetheart tree all colored in okay bye bye <laughs>